Yesterday, we played Madden 08. Today, we're playing Madden 12. And I guess there's, uh, there's number 12. We have to look at some of these older games as I think about what series I want to start working on and other ideas that I've had, you know, stewing for many years. I've long thought about what would it be like to do an expansion franchise or a created team of some sort like we saw with the Cupcake roster in Madden 08 if you caught that stream. I'm just exploring these games to figure out what are they going to give me to work with because we know in Madden 21... Uh, if you've played Madden 20, you've basically experienced the Madden 21 franchise mode. And, um, franchise has changed over the years, not always for the better, rarely for the better. But some games, you know, had some features that we have lost. And had some solid franchise experiences. And I would like to, uh, explore. So, as we did with Madden 08, we're here in Madden 12, a game that I really enjoyed. One of my top Maddens of all time, even stacked and compared to the modern Maddens. This game, I think, holds up. The gameplay is pretty solid, and it's a fun overall experience. It's also the last Madden to feature Created Team. The last one. Yesterday, we made the Tiburon Sharks, and I guess we're going to go with that again because I would like to experiment a little bit. Do they have the whole cupcake deal? They do. See, I never did this in Madden 12. I played the Vikings, and that's what I did. All right. So, cupcake. Someone asked, uh... My PS4 just turned on. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? I have no idea what's going on. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. I don't know what's up with my... It turned back off. It, it beeped. It flashed light. And then it went back to bed. I don't know. Maybe it's mad I'm playing the PS3. I don't know. I'll have to check after the stream. How do I make my waffles? Belgian waffle maker. Alright. So. How was the uniform editor in here? Pretty, uh... Similar to the last one. This default. This is like arena football ready. Almost. This weird stripe through the one. We gotta talk about that stripe. Because I don't know if I like that. But yeah, I mean, I built up Callus Spell. I've never done something quite like that on Madden. I almost did in Madden 19. And then I downloaded the patch. I should have known better. I do now. And that's why my Madden 20 is not updated. So, okay, I want to build the Tiburon Sharks then. What can I do at the stadium? We got a load to do this? Play 2K8, it's super realistic. I love 2K8. If it had a franchise mode, man, it has a season mode, which is still, you know, playable. But, man, if it just had a bare bones franchise mode, even. Ooh. I'm not sure I ever played with this. But hey, we're going to go through games, okay? Something tells me we can find something to do somewhere in here. I hope. There's other games. This is all my Maddens, though. Plus Backbreaker. <clears throat> All right, so what can I do as far as building a stadium? We can put a dugout? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. The it's on the left part of the screen, and you can't see it with every uh, every uh, seating style. So this is a bit more advanced than Madden 08. I kind of like this stadium. I've never actually done this before. Whoa, look at the hammerheads. Environment. Callus spell right here. Urban and downtown. Downtown, you're just closer to the buildings. I'm surprised there isn't a one that's a bit more like tropical looking. Because I don't think this fits anywhere besides maybe urban. Lights and roof. This is pretty sweet. No, take the lid off. This is pretty cool stuff. I'm immediately convinced that I want to see a Madden 12 expansion franchise now. We'll see. The Shark Tank. Hate to say it, but feeling like EA won't change. We certainly can't count on them to change. Believe it when you see it. <clears throat> I wonder if this will fit. <laughs> oh man. I can make my stadium named after like a construction company just to fit into the whole Fix Madden franchise. Leon Daniels Construction Corporation Incorporated. I mean, that'd be the passive aggressive Minnesota way. I wonder if you can edit that ever inside of your uh, franchise. Like, I, this is one now, like, we're going to a game that I've actually gotten deep into. I guess I made a trophy team many years ago. But, um, this is a game I've played a lot, but it's been a long time. And I've obviously, um, I think, uh grown as a franchise player since Madden 12 and there's more things I think about so I wanted that there but given uh I think the trophy team is like a bunch of 99 overalls I was getting all the trophies I used to care about getting trophies um what you really want to see is the Vikings franchise probably this one my file labeling has certainly gotten better. I have my old sliders, yeah. Sure do. I played on them last year, and I really liked it. I don't like the potential system in this game. It's probably the thing I dislike the most. Um, This is a Texans franchise, so that's not it. Hair's getting long, by the way. I know. I gotta get it cut. I procrastinated every single time and then my wife cuts my hair and it takes like 10 minutes and I'm like oh that was easy would I ever go bald yes if I ever started balding I think instead of like you know trying all these hair products and whatnot I think I'd first try to go bald and just own it but I'm not there yet remember this one 
Vikings franchise. Grow a beard cane. I don't really grow facial hair like that. <clears throat> All right, so here is uh, where we were with the Vikings franchise and among the features in here that you could go through we haven't been on this in uh, nearly a decade we're getting closer anyway but what can we do oh we can uh where is uh where's what I'm looking for Was it in the stats hub? Yes. I thought I could do it by year. Where is it? Records, season stats, career stats. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Where is exactly what I'm looking for here? Like, I thought you could look at, uh, can you look at past awards? I know you can look at career stats and you can uh, see like the team they played for and whatnot. Look at this, every season of the franchise. For Christian Ponder. Wow, I really didn't do that good any any of the years. 5.9 yards per attempt. Fifty three percent completion. Oh man, ninety five sacks in that season. Wow. Can you go through like there's some league history you can find oh yeah what was I doing with Adrian oh yeah just getting like close to 2,000 every year ridiculous yards per rush I mean he's like broken in this game he's so good Jamez Logan Kane's touchdown interception ratio has remained the same. No, it's gotten a little bit better. It's gotten a little better. <clears throat> wow, Marcus Lattimore was a beast. Was there a way to go back and look at um, stats like for the league for previous years I forget I know they have like rivalry history which is really cool and I wish was still in the games so for instance uh, rival records and the last game result we should go a little bit deeper than this but nice to have this here at least not in stats hub Luke Irvin's junior year suddenly not looking that bad. Oh, man. Oh, that was a long time ago. League leaders? Okay, let's try that. There it is. This is what I wanted to show you a few minutes ago. And then I looked ridiculous not being able to find it. So I could go through... All the years in my franchise and show you who led the league every year. Jay Cutler led the league in 2014. And the screen goes to this black and white to show you that it was in the past. Is that the whole idea? Hmm. 
pretty much led the league almost every year with Adrian. Leonard Hankerson. I thought he was going to have a bit better career. I liked him coming out of Miami. Oh, I can't see interceptions, though. <clears throat> oh, that means they're retired. Oh, that's a good call. That's a good call. How about the Hall of Fame? How does this all look? Oh, you can see who was inducted year by year. Okay, that's really cool. I like that feature. Like Madden, like the modern Maddens have like Hall of Fame inductions, but it's not organized like that. Here was uh, the team, though. Yeah, menu design has changed a lot in <laughs> recent years. <clears throat> Keiston Terry, Adrian Peterson, Kyle Rudolph, Nate Potter, Christian Ponder, Larry Fitzgerald. I have a lot of A potential players. One thing I don't totally remember is, could you alter a player's potential? I can't exactly remember. Would it ever change? Getting some mixed uh, answers. Oh yeah, Larry Fitzgerald. I gave Adrian Peterson an $80 million contract. I wonder what the cap number ended up being. Oh, you know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine if I made it deep enough to deal with that 19.5? <laughs> oh man. Oh, a chronological game log. That's and the result too. Oh man. I can't even sort here to go to other stuff. It's chronological. With playoff games. That's sweet. Yeah, they had the consistency and confidence mechanics in here. Um, so they had a cool hot-cold system. I wish they had iterated on instead of scrapping. All the awards. Oh, this is so cool, man. That stuff like that is just so immersive. Like, it, it seems so simple. It seems so, like, unimportant. But, like, I love it. I didn't throw it to AP very much. You know, for an older game, the menus are pretty clean. I mean, it's not the most efficient, but from an appearance standpoint, not bad. Yeah, player roles. I hardly remember stuff like this. Um, this role means that this player has a hard time staying on the field because of injury issues. It does have an in-game impact, increasing the chances of picking up an injury during the game.
I had a lot of injury prone players apparently. Yeah, one of the things that's so like frustrating is like most of the things we're asking for, we've had at some point in some capacity. You can export your team and use them somewhere else. I know what some people do is they'll go through an entire franchise mode and then at the end they'll export their team and then put them in a new franchise and just keep going. Oh yeah, I had Vic in this series. So what do we got for some settings here? Anything interesting that isn't in a... Uh modern madden oh yeah this game you could edit player ratings i think there was full player editing or was it madden 25 that made it fully editable that might have been madden 25 it's one of their gimmicks oh that's a cool menu Look at Adrian's bar. <laughs> He's the highest paid player on the team. Coordinators, huh? I don't remember coordinators too much in this game. I had Derek Mason as a coach. Yeah, uh, players that would retire would enter the coaching pool. Team income. Now, owner's box wasn't actually in here. They brought that back, I think, uh, 25 maybe? But there's still like ticket sales and all that stuff. I just forget how that was all computed. I think what this would do is mess with the uh, the overall rating formula to make it more personalized, I want to say. Yeah, you could choose what you liked for each position. Matthew Stafford is underrated. You can't change my mind on that one. He is Hall of Fame without a ring. Yeah, you're never going to see a player who didn't win make it to the hall of fame but stafford has been pretty good i think it'd be fun to like see an alternate universe where he was on a, a better franchise or just a lions team that uh was better thank you danny i wouldn't say hall of fame but stafford's had some really good years and he was having a pretty good season last year until he got hurt kind of like romo yeah i think like if you put Stafford on those Cowboys teams, he would have had a very similar career to uh, Tony Romo. <clears throat> Only game where Kane didn't have a running back committee. That's right. This was Adrian Peterson's backfield. All right. Scouting info. I do not remember scouting too much in these older games. But um, I would like to start a new franchise to just go through it all again like I did yesterday. But that was a nice little blast from the past to go take a look at uh, the Vikings franchise again. Let's get back in it now with my created team. I've never really messed with this. Or the mini games. Let me get distracted. Oh, I don't want to go that far to find out.
Yeah, the free agent auction deal was uh, very different. You know who should be in the Hall of Fame? Antonio Gates. When's his uh, eligibility? Because I think Gates makes it easily. He was playing just a couple of years ago. Antonio Gates is 40. 955 catches. <clears throat> Appreciate the super chats, everybody. Um, Chargers belong in San Diego. Gagan? Goggin? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but I appreciate the super chat very much. Thank you for the support. No message. All right, here are the Sharks with 70 million in cap space. Yeah, that's one of the things with these uh, franchises is like rebuilding like uh, a college team is different because of the way you acquire players. So with 70 mil in cap space, I mean, you can do a lot. In a game like Madden 08, you're limited because of the way players will be interested or disinterested in joining your team. So we'll obviously do a, a good trial run through here and see how it works out. <clears throat> Cupcake will have like 10 rookies with a potential. Yeah, it's little things like that I have to also consider. Certain games offer you a better s spot to do like a, a full on rebuild like that. Can you upload more than one custom team? And uh, with uh, rookies here, you don't get their full ratings until preseason is over. You get some of them. And these overall guesses are all over the place. Six overall? I would hope not. So there is that roster. You you can do a whole custom league, really. That's pretty sweet. Do we have any player roles? Not yet. All right, so we're here preseason. Got all these uh, roster moves happening. Edit active team. Yeah, you can change like what team you're controlling easily and uh, multi-team control. Oh, you can edit your stadium in the franchise. Okay, that's information I needed to have. You can edit your uniforms, all that stuff. Pretty cool. And then when it comes to certain systems, like say, you know, I wanted to do a full on rebuild like this, but it would be way too easy to sign really good free agents. I can always just create, you know, some rules and lay those out very plainly to say, okay, the game doesn't force me to do this, but this is how we're playing. Those kind of challenges, I think, make the game better and um, will give you a better experience. I'll let the CPU make cuts. I'm in the NFC North. I just took over the Vikings schedule and stuff.
do I have any other job besides YouTube? I do content here full time. And then I uh, just mess around with some other stuff here and there. Nothing really too big. Yep, this was the last game with Created Team. Absolutely. To implement the old sliders, um, they're still in. They're still in, and they don't have a separate uh, spot to keep them in franchise mode. So it's all main menu related stuff. Simulate the 2020 and then pick up that team. Yeah, one of the things that's tough with that in series is um, how do rosters change over time and do there become some imbalances? Like in NCAA, so many teams now have like, 290 plus overall quarterbacks and then corners that all have like 90 coverage ratings and uh, i think that may kind of detract from some of the gameplay of course importing ncaa draft classes that's what I would prefer to do, like, just to have, like, the correlated NCAA game and then just go on there and simulate something random and be able to import it just so there's not preset draft classes. I don't like preset classes. <clears throat> I have some classes from Callus Spill. Yeah, those would work for Madden 25. I've saved those. Not all of them. I've been very inconsistent about that. How many do I have here? Yeah, these are all the real ones that I had used. I'll just grab this last one here. Because why not? Any chance of bringing back Let's Plays and non-sports games on your other channel? Probably not, David. I haven't really been playing um, a lot of games that I'd be wanting to do Let's Plays of. Um, and I'm enjoying doing the sports content the way I have been. Appreciate the Super Chats, David, GT... <clears throat> well madden never make a good franchise mode again i don't know if they don't want to though then certainly not i know i'm not uh all that hopeful at this point biggest guy that should be in the hall of fame but isn't and someone who's in it but shouldn't be what happened to yesterday's team? The stream is going to be posted public after the stream is over today. Biggest guy that should be in the Hall of Fame but isn't and someone who's in but shouldn't be. Ugh. As far as players that should... I don't know. I haven't really thought about it too much. And I'm just now, like, you know, finally old enough to where it's like I watched entire careers of players, and now they're eligible for the Hall of Fame. And, um, I think, um, I would have said T.O. until he got in. Zach Thomas isn't in the Hall of Fame? I think I just assumed he was, but he was, like, always top linebacker growing up, I remember. Well, in the case of guys like Terrell Davis or Kurt Warner, I think you should judge Hall of Fame status based on that player's peak. Like, I think at a point, longevity comes into play. But when a player has such a good, like, four to six year stretch and there's not the longevity, I still think there's a place for those players in the Hall of Fame. Because I don't care so much about how they played after, like... If they gave you four to six really, really good years, I don't really care about how long they hung on to their career. 
you know, I don't care about Randy Moss's year with uh, the 49ers that much or, you know, stuff like that. Obviously, Moss had a long career, had a lot of success in Minnesota and New England. So, you know, he's obviously Hall of Famer easily. Is Luke Keekley a Hall of Famer? I think so. Yeah, I think he played, um, what, seven, eight years at a very extremely high level. Yeah. Like, I don't think the difference between him being a Hall of Famer should be like four more years of being above average. Even though he didn't really, you know, decline significantly or anything. I like to think about what did that player, what was their impact at the top of their game in the league at its current, at its state? And what I mean by that is like, did a player stand out compared to everybody else? Because it's not just a game of stats. It's easy to look at, you know, 10 years. Oh, look at these numbers. That's Hall of Fame caliber. But if a player at their peak, you know, didn't transcend the league in some way, how can you call him a Hall of Famer? Patrick Willis? Absolutely. Yes. <clears throat> I have a 94 overall kicker. An 86 overall linebacker. So, you know, the cupcake roster here, I don't mind the whole uh, setup with that. Potential A for my quarterback, but he's uh, 74. Which I don't think was, like, unplayable in this game. And accuracy is 80. Throw power is 90. That feels pretty decent. Oh, yeah, they did have a short, medium, deep in this game. I forgot. For Frank Gore, to me, he's close. I think he probably is a Hall of Famer because he was so good at the top of his game. But the last handful of years, I mean, it's showing his lo longevity. I have a hard time equating longevity to Hall of Fame-like scoring. Because to me, I like to focus, like I said, on the peaks of careers. The primes. Afterwards, I'm not as concerned but obviously, as you shatter records and rise in the leaderboards, um, I think it has to count for something. Oh, Revis, easily. Easily. Revis, I mean, Revis Island was a thing. <clears throat> Although Ted Ginn got him good, pretty good one time on a spin move route. That's what it was. He just ran down the field, did a spin move, and kept going. I also think about certain guys that have made it recently, like Curtis Martin made it, and I think that was uh, a lot to do with his longevity and stats. And then you look at a guy like Frank Gore, and you want to say, like, well, if Curtis Martin made it, then Frank Gore makes it. I'd probably, yeah, Heinz Ward probably. Wide receiver's tough, though, to get in. A lot of guys have to wait a long time. Tim Brown. So plenty of A potential players, and I don't remember the player progression here a lot, but obviously... Um, with this potential, wouldn't you think this team could be pretty good on their own in a few years, especially when you throw rookies into the mix? Maybe. I kind of want to do a few seasons of simming here to take a look. I'm going to write some stuff down if you don't mind. I want to look at all my A potential players. Although a lot of one-year deals here, this could get messy. So I want to focus on the multi-year players that have that potential. Maybe I'll make some more deals. Alright, so we got Connor Lee, 78. We got Lawrence Anderson at 77. Dante Anthony at 242 pounds. What's the speed? 86. I'm not making this right here a series, but I'm uh, just testing stuff out. Taking a look and 
trying to figure out what game fits my ideas the best. How's my quarterback? What's his years? I might need to sign him for science. All right, I got five players written down here that should all be starters and kind of core players. <clears throat> yes, um, my camera is inverted because the TV I play on is to the right. So I, I'm right-handed, but I have to invert myself so that when I'm looking at the game, it looks like I am on screen. Otherwise, it would look like this if I didn't invert the camera. Kind of weird, right? Have you tried the new rookie scouting feature? I haven't. But I shall. Well, I have many years ago. So this is obviously a class that I've used before. I would make all new classes, of course, if I did something on Madden 12. So are you planning to do a full series on one of these older games? Also, do you have still have no plans to do a 21 franchise? Blue Jackets, at this point, I am not looking at doing a Madden 21 franchise. I want to continue the Broncos, and I want to explore what other games offer. And that could include Madden 12, Madden 08, older games um, that I haven't played yet, 2K8... It could also include um, something new in NCAA. It could also just be Madden 20. Stuff on there, too. I haven't fully decided, but I want to see my options. Oh, yeah, there are some 25-year-old rookies here. All right, so how exactly did this work? Let me scout some running backs. Projected round zero. I forget if that's good or bad. Alfred Blue Rod Smith. Oh, man. He's running backs. Yeah, let's just scout them all. Oh, that's every running back that's in the class. All right, so I scout them. What happens? Get overall estimations. Got some stiff arms, spin, and juke. And got a lot of ratings here for, like, not their position. Why is Alfred Blue's college not available? I don't even know where Alfred Blue went. Texans fans, help me out. <clears throat> Was he LSU? <clears throat> oh yeah, unlock common ratings like stiff arm, spin move, and play action in this stage. So you get an idea, stiff arm, you can sort by these, and then, uh, oh cool, below their name it even shows like, alright, okay, not good stiff arm, but pretty good spin move. That's pretty cool, I never even noticed that. I want to see the sim stats too. Madden 08 was uh, a little more detailed when it came to like, you know, you had the newspaper so you could always see that stuff from around the league. The news here? Mostly just transactions right now. Um, I need a league schedule. Oh, we had two quarterbacks play. What happened to Pilardi? 
Jamie Brown, 5 for 19. He got on a cold streak right away. Oh, I thought that was my stats for a while. I'm like, yes, we did it. No, we did not. Ooh, 1 for 49, though. I would potentially try out Madden 20 on the PC with mods. Obviously, a lot has already been built there. And I think it'd be interesting uh, to get into it even late like this because there aren't any more updates coming around. So as far as like mod compatibility and whatnot, you wouldn't have to worry about that too much going forward as EA won't uh, be patching that title anymore. I know I tried mods on Madden 19 briefly, and it was a pretty interesting experience. I would definitely like to look into Madden 20's mods. I wanted to continue scouting these running backs. So I think I'd get a few more. No, unlock common ratings. I think I have to go to other positions. Why can't I scout right now? Can't scout every week? Huh. Don't remember that that well. Weeks 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. How do you all remember that? And I have no clue. <clears throat> I think I want to do a CFM draft while I watch stream. Chatter King, what team should I be? Um, draft as the Cardinals. I got some fun young players, but need some more. Let's see. There was still a week six trade deadline in 2011. So the week eight deadline is fairly new. Hello from Brazil, Kane. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that. Check Vic's stats to see if he actually runs. I'm pretty sure the QBs had rushing uh, sim stats here, but we'll definitely check. Did I really turn off the trade deadline to trade Bernard Varian? Did I seriously do that? Oh, man. When is the last episode of the Bucks series? So I posted one yesterday where I talked about how I'm probably not going to be ending it right now. And uh, if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, it's a pretty good one. I thought it was uh, a very fun offseason, and I think you'll enjoy your time with it. Ever thought about uploading episodes according to your team's schedule? Uh, not that seriously, but I do like to post college football on Saturdays when possible and NFL on Sundays when possible. Right, thank you, Tim. Stop at week five and scout. Well, it's week five now. Let's cancel. We got a win. Who lost to us? One second, please. By the way, is there a team schedule here? Or is it just the league schedule? There it is. That's what I wanted this whole time. Oh, the Cardinals. What happened? They didn't just lose. They got blown out. 
Josh Pilardi. He got it done. An NCAA to NFL simultaneous series would be amazing. Start with one season of NCAA, export that draft class, and then run the two series simultaneously, always using the imported draft class. That'd be really cool. It'd be very similar to what I've done with Callus Spell. Uh, but obviously, uh, it hasn't been simultaneous. Glad we could get our fullback involved here with five catches, 33 yards, and a touchdown. What offense are we running? Oh, man. I got to see their stats. Actually, they may be more interesting. Oh, Kevin Cobb, 11 for 31. Beanie Wells. You know what? Cam's in this game. Let me check his stats. Five for 22 and a touchdown. No, we'll do it this way because the game actually allows me to. Chronologically. So it certainly isn't uh, perfect, but at least he's getting some. 88 and 5 games. We'd like to see a little bit more, of course, but a couple games were super low. How about being able to actually look at information on free agents like this? You can't do this in Madden without signing players first. Oh, he played for San Francisco in 2010 after three years in Baltimore. Chronological stats, that's what it's all about. So in this game... Did it put all those players in the free agent pool? Because McNabb's available. Where's Adrian Peterson, though? So, did it delete Peterson from this one, too? I think I'd have to do something where I would like release all the players from that team or something. I don't know how I would exactly set that up so players didn't just go away. Obviously, I'm replacing the team, so they're gone. But I wanted the players to hopefully still be around. Next Super Mega Baseball video coming soon? Yeah, today. Today it is. An NCAA dynasty where I have no recruiting control outside of setting the importance and player type would be really deep. Uh, yeah, I've even thought about that. Like, obviously drafting and recruiting, the team building aspects have always been like a huge draw for franchise and dynasty. But um, something where you had a lot less control to me would be really cool. Just to see what you can make work with and it'd be more of a coaching experience than a general manager experience. Now, when it comes to the show, I'm kind of just uh, wait and see on that. Um, like I said, if they put like the revised 60 game schedule into the game, which I don't think they would, but if they did, I would have a lot of interest in playing that. I thought I could uh, scout this week or am I a week past?
I think I could week nine, right? Can I scout them anymore? Like, when do I get more info? NCAA series where you do the coaching carousel. I'm pretty sure you still handle recruiting in the coach carousel, right? Because to me, like, the ability to... I think it should be toggleable on or off. But the idea of, like, just dealing with whatever players are on the team and going from team to team would be a really cool challenge itself. Yes, but you can automate it. Okay. Okay. Yep, I can import custom classes from NCAA 12. I'm not sure I still have NCAA 12, but I'm sure I could find one for like a dollar. It's not the latest version, so it shouldn't be hard to find or anything. <clears throat> simming in these games takes a while why is this simming week 10 i told it to sim to week 9 the cpu recruiting is typically really bad I tend to add players I'd like to see them go after in the preseason and then let them go from there. That's a cool idea. I know the CPU recruiting isn't uh, phenomenal, but obviously uh, 130 teams are doing it every year in Dynasty, so they can put together some pretty good teams for you. But yeah, the coach carousel would be something different. My favorite Madden ever... My favorite Madden ever. It's really difficult because I look at features, I look at gameplay, and uh, then I look at my experiences playing those games. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed playing Madden 20. I wish they had done more to franchise mode, but I think the gameplay is the best it's been on the PS4, Xbox One era, easily. And I've had a lot of fun with the Broncos franchise and the Bucks, and I think there's even more I could do with the game. I, I like Madden 20. I do, I do like the game, um, but I'm also saying that in like a comparison kind of way like i like it in relation to all the other maddens but i wouldn't say it's like on the show's level as far as quality goes i like 20 and i like 12 So I don't really know what my favorite is. I'm not even sure I have a favorite, honestly. That's probably the, the best answer. I don't have a favorite Madden game. No, the Madden 08 stream will be posted. No worries. I think the show has the most quality. Um... 2K is super solid too, but I mean, the show I think has been rock solid for so long. <clears throat> and I say that as an offline player, I know that I always see people like not liking certain things about the online part of the game, but um, I enjoy the show a lot. So what we got, 2 and 14?
If I wanted to throw another game into the PlayStation 3, what would you like to see today? I got Madden 07 all the way through Madden 25. Is there another older Madden to go check out? Obviously on the PS3 and 360, they made franchise a lot more bare bones and that, you know, wasn't a period of franchise that I was very fond of. But in the spirit of going back in time, is there another game you'd like me to go through today? 07? I'm seeing a lot of 07s. Okay. We'll go through Madden 07 after this. Because I think that we don't have a lot more time here on 12. I want to experience the free agent bidding again. And I want to go through uh, an abbreviated offseason. But yeah, we'll fire up 07 after this. Pro Bowl. I want to get to the off season. I also want to take a quick look at progression and stuff like that. Do I like other sports games? You know, I'm not really into FIFA or NHL, but um, I know NHL's gotten some more love with their franchise mode, and um, I'd definitely be interested in checking it out sometime. But right now, I mean, football is the pillar of what I do, and I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do because the Bucks is reaching, you know, its end. Um, Broncos isn't, but I need more stuff to do. And um, I'm looking for the right way to do it. And I am still looking to do an all-pro season um, with... Uh, Super Mega Baseball and all the other series I've been working on lately. Um, haven't gotten to All Pro as soon as I wanted to, but I'm still planning on doing another season. Going back to it with uh, new players. Mm -mm, I haven't seen the rookie overall ratings for 21. I haven't checked it out. I wanted to check out... Just our team quick. Overall changes, anything like that. Ooh. So Ramsey jumped to a 95 after one year. This team seems pretty good. Jarrell Randall's an 88. This team got really good after one year. Josh Pilardi went from 74 to 80. The problem with this to me was just like the potential rating meant too much. Performance meant very little. Have I considered an out of the park series? Um, I haven't recently, but I do like the game, Mark. I may uh, come back to it at some point and give it more of a, a full deal, but I don't know about right now. Yeah, the potential system really uh hurt this game strive for greatness appreciate it realist we're trying to find ways to be great here how do you play franchise for so long and not get bored i do not know how to answer that question because there are games that i want to get into and i just like i lose interest and it can be just it can be a fantastic game like, I don't want to sit down and play hours and hours of Zelda, even though I appreciate everything about it, the nuances. Like, Zelda is a game that seems to be made for someone like me, that has that attention to detail and just loves little immersive elements. Like in uh, Zelda, when you got to be mindful of, like, temperature, weather, you know, don't hold a sword as it's thunderstorming. Um, stuff can roll down hills that you're not expecting. You can get yourself into so many predicaments. Franchise is just something I don't get bored of. It's just... I I have like a baseline level where I'm interested. And then I have elevated interest. Which I reach from time to time depending on what I'm working on. I can't explain it. It's in my DNA. 
Yeah, I got some time in Breath of the Wild, but I'm not as far as uh, I'd like to be. But I watched my wife play it a lot and um, really uh, appreciated everything in that game. <clears throat> so yeah, the potential system here hurts development a lot. Like I just simmed a year of a cupcake roster and you can't even tell because this team looks stacked. Not at receiver though. And when I'm talking about doing these new series, they don't necessarily have to be what I work on for the next year either. Like if it's something I work on for a month, that's just fine. You can have a fun month long experience and it allows me to get from one idea to the next. And there are certainly many I have not been able to do before. Go to the staff screen. Yeah, they had coordinators in this game, that's right. Now, it has a uh, boost to ratings. So, it's similar to what NCAA does, although NCAA had way more effects. Like, a good coordinator in NCAA means a lot, as does having a, uh, a bad coordinator, because you want those boosts. I forget about that all the time. This is really cool. Got some negatives in there as well. Pursuit and zone coverage. I just want to experiment here. Your team already has a defensive coordinator. I know, I want two. Gotta be four years. I can't believe this game had coordinators and I couldn't even remember it. It's a bare bones system and it's still better than what we have in 2020. Excuse me, the bills have countered with $150,000 less a year. There we go. Maybe I read that wrong. I'm not sure. Scouting agency. What did these mean for you? It's not clear here what effects they have. And why would I hire an agency to scout for me? Why wouldn't I have my own scouts? Well, that's that's another question for another day. <clears throat> Would I ever do a 32 team franchise where I tried to make the best decisions for every team? I don't know about that. I think that'd be really uh, time consuming and hard to follow as far as an experience in video form goes. But what I do in my uh, like Broncos series is I will go to CPU teams and if they have like an edge rusher playing defensive end, I try to fix that. I actually have to for the Steelers because they have Anthony Barr playing 3-4 D end. But um, I try to uh, fix simple things that they get wrong. 
Random player thought of Gris, uh, Chris Gokong. Yeah, linebacker for the Lions. Do I still play Forza Horizon? Um, I played the second and third ones a little bit, not the fourth one, and I haven't gotten that far into them. But um, I'm sure I'll get the itch eventually to go play them because those games are so good. And the Xbox One controller just feels so right for racing games. The triggers are so perfect. I like that game a lot. Am I wearing gloves? Nope. Hey, thank you, Sam. Retirements. Ten years is the least I've seen. This game had career ending injuries. I didn't know this game did. But I think no, I I think I did know that. Because I'm pretty sure they're in Madden 13 too. Are they not? Wow. Fractured vertebrae. Season or career ending injuries. I remember that in like Madden 2005 and I, there was a time playing like PS2 era Madden where I had that happen to me and I, I restarted the game. Cause I think it might've even been Michael Vick I was playing with. I think I was doing something where I had Michael Vick. I might have been a fantasy team. And he uh, had a career-ending injury in game. And I'm like, nope. Nope. Oh, it's Rock Cartwright. We talked about him yesterday. I totally forgot that career-ending injuries were in here. Ugh. Are they still in the show? You're at top prospect, have it happen? That's tough. I also know it was very easy to re-sign players in this game to small contracts. Are you sure? Why won't this work? Sorry, try again. Okay, I'm gonna back out of there quick. I don't know what's wrong with these uh, contracts. <laughs> Maybe it's a bug. easy to get deals done here I do think that re-signing your own players um, I do like the system in place in newer Madden where it's like you get a few different you get a couple shots it's not like the ideal system at all for negotiating contracts but um, I'd say it's a step above this Let's re-sign our quarterback. What does he want? 10 million a year, that's it. Here's a little extra. Oh, never mind. How come I can't make the signing bonus larger? That's weird. That worked.
<clears throat> what sliders do I use in the Broncos franchise? I use Matt 10 sliders. I use a slightly older version um, than what he has on his Operation Sports thread. And I'm using like a, a patch that's a little bit older as well. So I would use whatever he has brand new if you're up to date on your patches. And it'll probably handle things very similarly to where my series is at. All right, we're back to combine scouting. Speed, agility, and acceleration. We get 20 players information here. So the top running backs, of course. I didn't do all the in-season scouting, so I don't have a lot of info on anybody else. Been pretty good, Anthony, and just staying home a lot. <clears throat> Trying to get more into uh, cooking at home, at least, is uh, a positive. Like, we already do a lot of cooking, but I guess trying to have more fun with it. Jarvis Landry. Speed and acceleration, you get all that info, all the combine info, the exact numbers. All right, free agency. This is how the free agency works. We got the top one for now for Marshawn Lynch. It's kind of chaotic because it's all in a real timer here. All right, Chad Ochocinco. And Ted Ginn, why not? But it's like, I have to have a five-year deal. I have to have a two-year deal. I'm not losing these. We got Marshawn Lynch. All right, let's go back and look at some more players here. Let's add a corner. If we can, let's add a pass rusher. I kind of want to sim another season to see how this team would do. Let's go to the next round. All right, so we win those. Oh, wow, I can actually choose if I want it front-loaded, back-loaded, evenly distributed. I do not remember that.
Exactly. That's one of the problems I have, Alexander, with how they've handled so many decisions uh, in Madden. Is like their first implementation of every feature is pretty like bare bones, and it's like okay, there may be something here. Obviously, we don't get super excited about a lot of this stuff because we see the flaws and we see where it needs to get better. And instead of things getting better, they usually got replaced. And then it was a new thing where it was just bare bones, like the scouting. We've been on the same bare bones scouting for years now on the newest consoles. And it's so basic, it's so uninteresting, but it doesn't take a lot of time. And that seems all they optimized for was uh, in and out. Yeah, they had pro days here as well, so you could get like the full scouting report on a few different players. Actually, 20. I thought it was less. I think if the developers wanted to, they could do some really cool things, even with the features that are in Madden 20. Like, there's ways you can build upon, you know, for instance, the scouting. We get the top three system and the combine. You know, what if they introduce something where we can see maybe their college stats and we get more of a, a written version or a way to ballpark like a player's uh, ability outside of just like, okay, his uh, ratings are going to have these grades. Or you could look at the system with... Uh, your coach, your scheme, your scheme fits, and now let's throw coordinators in there, and they may, you know, have uh, various effects for your players. I thought, you know, if they want to use this XP system, then introduce coordinators that have focuses that allow your players to upgrade. Like um, a certain defensive coordinator may make your defensive backs upgrade at an increased rate. Just little things like that, and then you can iterate off of that. Oh yeah, it was individual workouts and I get a few of. This is where you get, I think, potential and everything too. Yeah, Deuce Douglas, I mean, he's basically covered everything that we want. And, I mean, it's not a secret what we're looking for. It's also not the hardest thing to do in the world, but... Those calling the shots don't see it as worth uh, time, resources. Like, if they were to go about these things, it would completely change Madden's reputation. But they clearly don't care about their reputation because as long as they have the only game and it sells, that's good enough. Which... They've been successful, obviously, selling the game. But what happens if there's a future competitor? The door is wide open. If 2K's deal with the non-simulation games goes well, and then they're competing again in a few years, like, all that time Madden could have spent building up a great game, building up a, um, a happier fan base. Like, you know how many people would be elated to jump to a different game? This is not Battlefield versus Call of Duty where you have fans that are legitimately like will defend their game against the other game. That's not what Madden is to 2K. We don't have any loyalty. We simply have one option. So yeah, when I did the uh, individual workouts, that gave me the full view of these players. Potential and all. Next head coach episode, I would uh, count on that this weekend. I'm thinking Sunday for that. Uh, excited to continue on with the uh, uh, Bucks as well. That last offseason I did yesterday was really fun. Did I just miss the draft? Did I sim it? 
That's okay. Where are my draft picks? I guess I simmed the draft on accident. No players drafted. But wait a minute, no one. Where's the draft? I'm really confused. Do we just like not have a draft this year? Something's weird. Just a small bug? Well, it depends if we get to actually do the draft. <laughs> They're all free agents now? What? I'll have to like watch this back. Did I actually sim past the draft or was there a bug? That's so weird. I've never seen that. I'm guessing all the rookies became free agents. So this is an experiment. What would the NFL be like without a draft? What if every rookie was immediately a free agent? Their contracts at the very top would be enormous. Definitely a bug. All right, I gotta find these uh, free agents then. I don't know why reorder depth chart is a task. I gotta get to preseason, I think. The one time Seattle doesn't have a bad draft. Oh man, Brandon with the comment of the day. Oh man. That's the thing though. Seattle's not a bad drafting team. They're just a weird drafting team. And I think that their whole process could be optimized more. But they got their, their methods. Here's my thing. This is more of an honest question. Why don't the Seahawks just trade their first round picks? Because they like to take second and third round talents in the first round anyway. Just do what you did with Percy Harvin. Trade away the first round pick. In the second round, you'll get who you wanted anyway. I think they should do that. If that's how they want the draft. Either trade down or get rid of the pick. Well, I guess they did that. They didn't make a first round pick for like seven straight years. So never mind. It was just last year, they obviously spent it. Yeah. Maybe trade it for players more often. <laughs> You've been a good team long enough. Yeah, it's always trading back with them. I, I forgot about that. But yeah, what's their first round pick history? Because this year it was Jordan Brooks. Well, they've actually spent their first round pick four out of the last five years. Jermaine Effetti, Rashad Penny, LJ Collier, Jordan Brooks. Not the best picks. 2017, no pick. 2013 to 2015, no pick. So the last eight years, 50-50 on keeping their first round pick or not. And before that, Bruce Irvin, that was solid. James Carpenter, Earl Thomas, really good. Russell Okung, really good. Aaron Curry. I remember Aaron Curry. Like, safest prospect in the draft. Can't miss. That was before I was really into the draft. But I remember the narratives. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Yeah, Aaron Curry was previous regime. Who was even the Seahawks coach before Pete Carroll? I can't even remember. I remember Mike Holmgren. Was it him? Because Mike Holmgren seems like it was 15 years ago. They had Jim Mora for a year. That even happened? I don't remember that at all. Jim Mora is the Seahawks coach. <laughs> I don't recall that whatsoever. All right, where are the free agents at? I got to see if these rookies are still out here. Or maybe they're just not even in the league. No, there are rookies. Maybe the CPU teams got them all because there's like three rookies in the free agent pool. So not the best game for undrafted. Unless the draft was held and it was a visual bug of some sort. But to check that, I'd have to go to some rosters. I need a uh, age. So we have some rooks. Okay. This is weird. So... All right, 86. Were you drafted? He entered as an undrafted player. Does anybody remember who was actually really good in this class? That I could check to see if they had a, they were actually drafted. I'm pretty sure everybody got undrafted though. Landry was like a 60, so I could see him going undrafted in here. But yeah, I guess we could check Jarvis Landry. Yeah, I don't know what I just did to make everybody go undrafted, but that seems to be exactly what happened. Wait a minute. That's 2012. John Colbert was drafted. So we had a draft. We definitely held a draft. But how come there are so many undrafted guys? Yeah, Alfred Blue was supposed to be really good, right? So he would have been selected. CJ Spiller. All right, let's go alphabetical here. Okay, so there was a draft, but I don't think we participated. Alright, that's really confusing. All I want to do now is I want to sim this season and just see um, if like this team would actually be pretty good. Like, is the cupcake roster maybe a bit flawed here? Because I think we had way too many good players. Yeah, this is just an experiment franchise anyway. The opposite of an expansion draft. Yeah, they just allow you into the league and say, good luck. We're not helping you at all. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen a, in a new team in the NFL since the Texans. That was so long ago. Like, I think it'd be fun to, like, experience that in football again, just to see, like, all right, we got to protect players. Who are they going to pick from every roster? And then they get the number one pick. 
imagine it's a year where there's a really good quarterback and then, you know, the actual worst team in the NFL wouldn't get that player. But a 32-team league, eight four-team divisions, perfect setup. And now they've messed with the playoff formula to add in a wild card game. 32 is a great number. It was Ontario Smith's number. I'm pretty sure. Sure was. Sorry I'm late. What Madden are we doing? 12 or 08? I'd say 12. I don't know. I was just getting familiar with uh, both games again. Is Nick Chubb top five? When I think of top running backs, I think I have Chubb top three to five, yeah. I think, you know, uh, CMC, Zeke, Saquon, and then Chubb. Not that it's my particular order, but I think Chubb, I'd have him at number four or so. I have Chubb. I would personally have Chubb over Kamara, over Dalvin Cook. Um, Derrick Henry, like Chubb's really freaking good. I like Chris Carson, but he fumbles too much. Yeah, I watched some Devin Singletary. I was excited when he got more playing time last year. I wonder how they split it this year between him and Zach Moss. And Akeel Harry, I would, uh, I wonder what his season is like this year. If, like, Cam starts, I think that'd be a big benefit for him. Be really good for his career. So I'm not allowed to draft. Now I'm not sure I'm allowed to play. <laughs> what is this? What is this game? I just broke it. I have an invalid team. Is it a glitch with custom teams? That's what I'm kind of thinking. I've certainly never gone into franchise with a created team before in this one, but I know many of you have. And I have no idea why I, one, couldn't draft, and now, two, I have an invalid schedule. By the way, we're still going to be going through Madden 07, so stick around. I'm going to go use the restroom quick. I'll be right back. It's going to take a while to sim anyway.
I've returned. Howdy. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'll leave if you want, Cher. How's this for an experience? All right, you got it. Uh, uh. Check my options folder. I may have the draft switch to auto. I'm pretty sure I set all that stuff to user. That would be a good point though to at least double check it. The no team challenge. <laughs> That's exactly what we have right now. When is the Madden 07 stream? And I also had a custom league in 12 and it worked fine, but I was only like 15. I stopped playing it for Madden 17. Uh, I'm going to pop into Madden 07 after this. We're probably not going to do as deep of a dive because I don't have a ton of time. But um, I at least wanted to get into it with everybody. Invalid team to Super Mega Baseball. <laughs> Invalid team. What happens if I press circle to stop this? Well, let's once again do this for science. What happens to teams that were supposed to play us? Oh, we have a record. We had an invalid schedule though. Yeah, the draft doesn't even have an option here, but everything's set to user. I actually thought we'd be a lot better this season. Four and nine. Do we show up on the league schedule? There is no league schedule. Stats are still showing up. Oh, these are the franchise records or whatever? Franchise career stats? Okay, it's all active players. Congratulations, Sydney Rice, on your 269,156,360 touchdown game. By far an NFL record. Also, your 676 carry game where you had zero yards, but managed to have nearly 270 million touchdowns. <laughs> what have I done to this game? Well, I got to see what else is in there. Oh, this is a cumbersome menu. Five for one night. No, don't cycle. I was reading that. Five for 194 and two. That's Randy Moss. Can I back out of this? It won't let me back out. I could save it, but do I want to save this file? It's all I can do. I can't back out. This is broken. Do we save it or not? I don't know if we need to save this. I think we need to get out. Mm. 
<clears throat> you'll soft lock yourself if you save it. it it's probably the most logical explanation there all right let's go to madden 07 this game has uh completely broken itself allow me to swap uh over games quick and turn off all the music and all that stuff i'm not sure i have a profile on madden 07 here for ps3 i've probably used it on this system but i don't remember getting all tangled up in cords so that was a look at madden 12 everybody definitely a a fun blast from the past and some games uh a game that i really enjoyed for a long time still think it has some good qualities Eat a PB and J. I don't want that right now. I want tacos. One sec. I think I have to adjust my display settings. Does this game it need 720p? Yeah. The display, it's just blinking. It'd be hard on the eyes right now. I had tacos this morning. There we go. Tacos for breakfast. I don't have 07 on PS2. No, I have it on PS3 and that's all. Then I have to remember when I play NCAA to adjust my settings. Because if I record on 720p with uh really any 720p footage i capture it has some weird bugs when i edit and it'll crash constantly done it a couple times i had a couple episodes of cal spell recorded at 720 where i had to uh just i had it crash just over and over and over again I had two burgers for breakfast. Heck yeah. Takis. Those are pretty good. Fish taco Friday. I prefer uh, five taco Friday. Five tacos. Out of water. Stay hydrated, folks. It's summertime. I just got to edit the music settings on here and whatnot. Well, I suppose I don't even have the audio on, so I can throw this back on quick. <clears throat> Leon Daniels in Super Mega Baseball 3, he's there and you'll see him today. You'll see him literally today. We play against the B-Wolves. Here was the Madden 07 soundtrack. Yeah, this is like the first thing we do as YouTubers. Me, anyway. Very first thing. These soundtracks used to be so big. Like, what were the licensing costs for all these songs? Yeah, the Sam Spence stuff is pretty good. That's all like the NFL Films music, but even that, can't play it.
All right, why don't we go into franchise mode? Mike Holmgren, let's go to the Seahawks. <clears throat> You're not even going to say hi? You're just going to throw me into the preseason? That's it? Where's like the menus and everything? Go to the real games, okay? This is the first PS3 Madden, by the way. 06 was only on 360. Yes, we broke Madden 12, so we're moving on to Madden 7. 07. Let's try not to break this game. Hey Cole, thank you for becoming a brand new member on the channel. Blackjack, do you have multiple accounts here? Yes, this is Next Gen Madden 07. Is this your other uh, account? Because I know the other one was like admin, so you pop up in chat a bit more. I can switch over. Oh, it's not a big deal. I was just wondering because I could ed make this one uh, a mod as well. So now wherever you are, you're good to go. Two million touchdowns in a game is still more believable than Lions winning the Super Bowl. Thank you, Pee Wee. <laughs> it was actually like 300 million, but close enough. All right, so it just threw me right into the preseason. That That's not a good look. Didn't say, hello, come on in. It didn't give me anything. I just got games here. Where's Where are all the features? Oh, okay. Wait, this menu's really goofy. So it connects all this. This is bare bones right here. This is the skeleton with like half the bones missing. Maybe more. This is worse than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> yeah, this is not my favorite UI at all. EA showing off graphics, basically. Yep. I mean, the, the menus themselves are kind of sharp, clean. But this is weird. Had to rebuild franchise mode again. Didn't have everything there. Acquired, traded with Packers. So even bare bones Madden 07 here had a few uh, pieces of information for us. Why can't I toggle like my rushing stats? Shouldn't L2 control team and R2 control like rushing? Would I break this game too? 
pretty good games for Brad Johnson. How can I get to rushing stats? There was a way to check your rushing stats, right? This game is so broken. Oh boy. Need to press R2 and then over? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's how you do it. That is one of the worst UIs I've ever seen. At least I can check the stats for uh, Troy Williamson and his five catches for a buck twenty. Yes, I have played Madden 12 today already for a couple hours. Player progression. I can't imagine, you know, if they started over and it was this bare bones. What was player progression all about here? I just see every player. I can't click them. I can see their biography, though. Ooh. Career bests. Madden 07 had career bests. A feature seen in 2K basketball. Let's go to a position that has a bit more uh, to look at there. Come on! Madden 07 had this? Next gen Madden 07? This game had nothing. And it had the career bests. Both. Is it just season? Yeah. It should be game best too, but it's career best for career uh, overall. This menu here, this doesn't suck at all. That's kind of clean. That's nice. And in addition, it pops up with the season stats in the upper right hand corner. That's kind of clean right there. Trading system hasn't changed too much. What am I doing? Alright, if I want 83 overall receivers. <sighs> Madden 07 had a trade finder? What do you mean Madden 07 had a trade finder? No, this is not real. I'm in a simulation right now. How did Madden 07 have a trade finder? It didn't even make it to Madden 12, did it? Why? Wish I had more water. <clears throat> Madden 07 Next Gen had a trade finder. We're trading for Javon Walker. It wasn't Madden 12? Okay, because I don't remember doing the trade finder stuff in there. So it must have been taken out Madden 12. I didn't realize Madden never had a trade finder. Mm. 
This will be a video afterwards. Yes. All right. So what if I can't pick a player and then have them make like an offer for me? So it's not like MLB's trade finder or 2K's, but I could say first round pick. What will you give me if I want uh, this position? At least this overall. At least there's that. It's a very basic trade finder. In Madden 07. Yeah, I don't remember Madden 12 having it because I definitely did not use it. To my memory. Excuse me? I guess it was in a game we simmed. I want to check out the scheme menu here. Okay. This is like the NCAA setup. And Madden 12. Pretty much. Exactly. Coach history. Complete coach history too. Comments. After that loss, a group of fans were caught tearing up a row of seats. What the? <laughs> Some executive thought we were going to love that feature. With the menus. I can offer however many years I want. Wants, great team. Interests. Wow, this actually had these features. Where did they go? Where do these interests go? This is not even like a good Madden. UI reeks of like 2K in the mid 2000s. Yeah, and 2K's UI design was not one to be copycatting any part of. Like 2K8's UI, going through those menus is uh, horrible. But there aren't that many menus. Just wants an opportunity. Rohan Davy. We get his career best. Mo Williams, let's go. Wants money. Great team. Money. I love it. Ah, Zahir Hakeem. If I want to know what were his big years with the Lions. Actually, the Rams. I think of him with the Lions just because he uh, 
ended up playing for them and played against the Vikings, but obviously his uh, career got going with the greatest show on turf Rams. Ah, Zahir Hakeem. I like how the importance like varied from team to team. Like he only cares about like five things. He's got his priorities. Money, good team. Some care about weather. Like if I were to create my interest here, my personal, it'd be like obviously money. Um, nice weather. Yes. And then um I'd want uh, preferably a winning team, but a lot of those nice weather teams are pretty bad. Not all of them, but the Florida ones, you know. Also, it's a little humid there. There was another menu I had just gotten to. I wanted to see more. Um, how did I? Roster breakdown. That was it. Average NFL starter rating and hours. I love that feature. Alright, it's still showing me his uh, stats from here. There was that roster breakdown screen that was kind of cool. Oh, and then I can see where we're at. Like, this menu here is sweet. I love that. Hmm. <clears throat> Byron Chamberlain. Man, so many great names and players. Former Vikings. I'm interested more in this player progression, though. Maybe it's too early in the season. Let's get to simulating. Let's just sim uh, to here. Try some gameplay? Yeah, I haven't even played a snap of football today with you guys. Or anywhere, actually. I know what Madden 12 plays. I played Madden 08. I might as well play a short game of Madden 07. Let me just make sure my audio settings are right then. Um, sometimes they feed music through this, so I always knock that down. Crowd on the field and master, yep. Please play Seahawks versus Packers. Let me see where that is on the schedule, Christian. Thank you for the super chat. Alright, we'll play that one. Yes, this is 07. Um, we played 12 for a couple hours, and I literally like broke franchise mode of the created team I was using. And um, we had to, to put the game away for a little bit. So we're just checking out 07 now. Why did you make me just go and buy Madden 12 and NCAA 12 just now? Don't do created team. Don't do the created team. Or do it, but don't break the game like I did. What does this mean? What? I'm not doing the 40. I run like a 5-4. 
Really? Josh Scobie. Wasn't he a kicker? I don't remember training for games. Do the 40 anyway? I'll do the 40 with somebody. Oh, I went... I should have picked someone to do the 40 with. My bad. I'll still try to do it. Which Madden is this? Now we're playing 07. A different Josh Scobie. I don't think I remember this Josh Scobie. But he played for like five years or longer in the NFL. 27 career attempts. 19 career receptions. He had a long career for that few touches. All right, guys, let me know how the audio is. I'll feed you a little bit of audio from the game now instead of my music. All right. I just wanted to, uh, like, train for a game. So it's very similar to what we were doing in Madden 08. So they were, you know, trying to keep the spirit of some of these ideas from last gen alive. This obviously went away. But it is the exact same thing we did in Madden uh, 08 yesterday. See ya. Can I get to the corner? Is there still... I can still use the truck stick, right? Not... The, that it would work here necessarily. How is this loss of yardage penalty my fault? That was a face mask. Notice how they're also wearing practice uniforms here instead of their game uniforms. That wasn't too bad. Now I got Seneca Wallace. I can go negative here? That's not fair. My first successful curl route in a while. Oh, the yardage actually gives me points, too. Corner route cheese. What's the routes? Don't know. Low foot to Tupu, exactly. Wow. Man coverage sticking to that C route like that? Haven't seen that in a while. This is kind of fun. <laughs> this is kind of fun right here. Kind of wish I had some more throws. This is 07. Point bank. Zero with Josh Scobie. I didn't get anything? I thought I had a pretty good round. Seneca Wallace. Zero. So what was all that for? I didn't get anything? Alright, we're running the 40. Who should I run the 40 with? Oh, these amazing receivers here. Run the 40 with the punter. I 
Hasselbeck. What's going on, DJ? Run it with Walter Jones. Let's go rookie. I want to see if I can even get a point. The 40 is so hard in here. Yeah, Walter Jones might have been injured or something. I think it actually showed he was when we were checking out stuff earlier. So they had some cool things going here. I'd like to go through and see when those were all stripped out. Alright, so lean with R2. I have to run. Pushing down on either stick puts you into the ready stance. The fourth beep, the drill starts. Alternatively, pushing the sticks back, then releasing them. Right before the player crosses the line, press R2 to lean. Look at Matt Hasselbeck in his workout uniform or workout clothes. He is jacked. And there he goes. He's bold. And Hasselbeck runs a 5-5-3. Five, five, <laughs> I should have ran with someone else so I could see, like, a 5-5 five five with Hasselback. Is that even bad? I mean, it's certainly slow. It, but did I do that bad? Mostly everything was taken out from the jump to connected franchise mode in 13. Yeah, but there seem to be a few things in here that weren't in, uh... 12 even that was pretty cool they let you do that training um do I edit my main menu gameplay settings here for like difficulty and whatnot All pro. I want to choose like my uh, time settings though. This UI, man. Okay. Someone's got to give me help here. How do I determine how long the game's going to be? Something very basic. <clears throat> was there no created team it was just create a player in this game because so I just wanted to play a really short game yeah I was streaming for a few hours Can I choose it here? And it's slanted. I'm probably not playing a whole game, but I wanted to at least uh, get a feel for the gameplay. Game rules. Oh, yeah, that's where I think it is in uh, head coach as well. A 
look at that. That's the controller we were using back then. The controller fundamentally has not changed, and they're still moving like highlight stick, moving controls around. I don't get that. Oh, why did I skip the player intro? Just putting on some light music to drown out if they play any music at all. So I can at least have a little game sound. Look at this rain. Sam Congato on the return. Ooh, I can see uh, which players are out there too, not just the personnel, the numbers. Kind of cool. Ooh. You're telling me that breaking the huddle and just having us appear there is better than this? Look at James Jones on the outside. We got Favre walking to the line. This is Madden 07. It wasn't even that good of a game. Intercepted by Ken Hamlin. We want the ball and we're going to score. Was that not James Jones? It was 89. It pops up that camera. Oh boy. That tackle animation is pretty good. I know, presentation Madden is so bad. Like, their end of game presentation is actually, like, embarrassing. The whole, like, Microsoft PowerPoint at the end of, like, four random screenshots. How did that get passed into the final version of the game? End zone shot! Oh my! Bobby Ingram! Oh my goodness, what a throw! I'm on top of my game. Was it Robert Ferguson? Yeah. Before he went to Minnesota to end his career. Not that the Vikings were the cause of his career ending. That was a pretty sweet play. If you're new here, I pretty much do that all the time. Like I never throw interceptions. I'm pretty much just make Mahomes throws look easy chat will back me up on that oh, I should just end there I'm done I have like one single digit interception season on my channels period I don't know how I made that Bobby Ingram throw. I'll be thinking about that one for a while. Yep, there's Ferguson. I can read the back of his uniform. Look at that! I love that! Imagine that in a newer uh, Madden. Some of the presentation possibilities. My goodness. Beat my cover three, Brett Favre. Woo! Greg Jennings! Of course, Kane's first throw is a pick. 
Oh, you thought it was me? Oh, man. Oh, look at Favre walk to the line. That presentation, man. Gotta get the fullback dive in there. Is there no dime? Oh, there is. Honestly, I don't mind this, like, formation screen. I get to see six formations at once. Six plays at once, too, instead of three. Look at Favre. Did he just try to buckle his chin strap and it was already attached because it's Madden? I want to see Favre do that chin strap thing again. He was about to. Oh, this pre-play camera action is so cool. The right guard's wearing number two, by the way. I don't know what that whole situation's all about. Oh, come on! And who's the right guard wearing number two? Matt O'Dwyer. <clears throat> I love that. I'm not skipping any of those. Some of these tackles are solid, too. This might become like NFL Tour for me, where it's like, I'm not going to say this game is great, but I will say it's fun and I kind of like it. <laughs> I hate this game, never mind. This is terrible. <sighs> I can call man coverage though. Don't you miss being able to call man coverage? The cutback from Gatto, the broken tackle. There are some things in this game that are solid. Pretty sure Donald Driver played like 30 seasons. Yeah. Driver was solid for a long, long time. I had to respect his game. Packers could really use a receiver like him, too, to compliment Devontae Adams. <clears throat> Why is Madden 06's CPU running back vision way better than now? I mean, the CPU just hit a cutback on me. Alright, well, I want to slow this down here. So this is where oftentimes the like the vision gets tough. When they're running between the tackles and there's just multiple gaps, players in the way. I like that at least we're seeing him acknowledge that he needs to like be re-evaluating. And uh, obviously, cuts left, makes his move. 
Maybe we'll see some more examples of it here, but I don't hate this game so far at all right now. Packers trying to tie the game. Ah. Yeah, I don't think they've ever really shown great vision on tosses. Because they're like hardwired into taking it wide as possible. Hmm. I kind of like to play a little more offense. Overall, this or Madden 20? I haven't played this enough. I, I Obviously, you know, 20 is going to have a lot of things that are better. What's difficult is, like, we have to compare, like, strengths of, like, uh, old games versus new games while they contain weaknesses. And that's why it's hard for me to figure out what I want to do as far as a game... Uh, to pick which one to go with because I so many strengths and weaknesses but um there are some things about this that I think are like smoother than Madden 20 like animations and whatnot and I just didn't expect that like that tackle right there was solid the running back vision the main coverage It's like, even if Madden 20 is better, like, how can you give it credit? It's literally 14 years later. The fact that Madden 20 doesn't do everything better than a game like this speaks massive volumes. It should be better in every single way. Oh! I want to hit another deep ball. That's overthrown. Does this have any super sim action? Don't think so. So what I'd be interested in now um, is like jumping from this game to like Madden 08 and seeing, okay, does this game lose anything that I liked from Madden 07? Then going to 09 and 10 and see, okay. For this era, because I'd say Madden 12 is very different. For this era, which game do I like the most? Because while this is super bare bones, there are still things here that I like. I can train before the game. I like some of the menus. Um, wish I had some more time today, but I think I'll do more streams like this. And we'll just keep exploring. Maybe I'll hang on to this uh, franchise file for now. I didn't expect to be surprised as many times as uh, I was going back to this game. Uh, let me just sim to the end of the year quick. I kind of want to just take a peek at the off season. Although simming is not exactly uh, slow here. Is there any reason not to get the new Maddens on PC? Uh, no, if you have a good gaming beast PC and you're comfortable um, gaming there and you like modding, I mean, 
obviously it's going to be the most uh like highest upside place to play because uh there are some really good creators out there that are making mods for these games and um they're doing some pretty cool things with like 19 and 20. That was actually a decent length sim. I want to see some of the sim stats. 32 and 7. That ain't terrible. What's the sort button here? Triangle? Two 4,000 yard passers, everybody. Alright, how many yards did Culpepper run for? Oh, just showing passing stats. I still like this menu here. This is clean, man. I like that. Ooh, LT. Four for 36 for Culpepper. Or uh, 36 for 199 and four. My bad. Wanted to see if any quarterbacks had better uh, rushing. Who, who should I check for this era? Not Charlie Fry or Jake Plummer. Not Rex Grossman. The Falcons. Oh yeah, Vic was in this game and the rushing stats were not good. So that's bad. Well, he got hurt though. That doesn't count. Well, he played a lot of games, so it does count. Packers had three running backs get hurt. League news. Is there even an injury report in this game? Okay, there is. Were there any career-ending injuries? A lot of out for seasons. No career enders. I'm pretty sure they were in this game, but we just didn't get any. And now, what about that player progression? Alright, so some stuff got better. I'm not sure if this is like performance based or what. see some getting worse what about another team does it give me any information on like what caused these things yeah acquired 2004 trade with the Raiders yeah just you know came in a first round pick for Randy Moss What were his stats before coming to Minnesota? Just a lot of tackles. <clears throat> I just want to get a little taste of the off season because I haven't seen a thing here in regards to scouting.
Congratulations, Eagles. 55 to 35. Not going to get to any more games today, but I think I still have some exploring to do. So I think I'll be doing this again. Um, you know, I'm not going to say this is like the greatest era for Madden football. Certainly it's an era that kind of took me out of franchise mode. So, you know, I don't know if I have high hopes for going back to this era, but I kind of want to see... Dive into these games a little bit more from uh, Madden 07 to Madden 10. Forget 11, that game's trash. But I kind of want to see where some of these features that I like, where were they best before they kind of got stripped away. Retirement Desire. Okay. So what does a uh, contract signing look like? Very similar to Madden 12. Near identical. How was their free agent market? I don't like Madden 11 because defense didn't exist. They put Breeze on the cover, and they wanted everybody to be able to throw the football easily, and... Ugh, no thank you. Also, their big thing that year was game flow. Like, we'll pick the plays for you. So you can get through a game faster. How about make a game that when we're playing, we don't want to end Oh, the button mashing to recover a fumble. You could turn that off, though. And the kick meter on 11. The bar on the bottom that would slide. It was the worst. It was not quite as bad as Blitz the League's kicking, but it was next worst. All right, so I gave an offer to Patrick Sertain. I just want to see how easy it is to sign players here. And now I'm going to find somebody and give them like a really small offer. Let's go uh, Mo Williams. It's pretty slow. Ooh. Oh, he just rejected it. This is Madden 07. Okay. So what happens after I make that offer? We got 30 days of free agency. And Mo Williams went to Oakland, so I still lost. I didn't get anybody. Oh, now Sertain has more interest. Will it automatically give me the higher offer? I don't think so. OK. 
Can I see what they offered him? Or I just try to give offers until I have the top one. Okay. Takes a little bit of time here. Yeah, I know. I think uh, doesn't certain son play for Alabama? When is Alabama ever not going to be good? <clears throat> as long as they keep getting like all these really good linemen every single year and like the best bruising college running back every single year and you know every good run stopping front seven player and then they go and start, you know, oh, we're going to have first round skill players as well. Oh, and the guys that cover them. Yep, them too. Oh, and now we got Tua. A top quarterback prospect. Like, it's just obnoxious at this point. Just want to get closer to the draft. Oh, it is the draft now. They just threw me in here. Um, am I on the clock? Like, where's the scouting? I got Mel Kuyper takes. I got scouting reports in Madden 07. Look. Explosive tackler with the power to jar the ball loose. Instinctive player who is effective at jamming the tight end at the line of scrimmage. Even though you can't jam tight ends in these Maddens. He's had some problems with injuries, but it doesn't seem to be a trend. Fast enough to drop back and pass coverage. Stringing the plays wide. Shows little power when coming off the edge. Showing just a marginal push. Now I'm guessing I can't make like a nice organized uh, um, where'd it go? I'm guessing it doesn't have like a super nice uh, like board for me to edit. But at least Mel Kuyper's helping me out. All right, I want, that's cool. I want to see uh, positions though, running backs. I want, give me your info here on the lowest rated running back. Todd Snow, four, six, seven, 40 time. Puts the ball on the ground too often to be counted on. Lacks elusive rushing skills, showing little hip swerve. He is hesitant to kick it into that extra gear needed to get to the second level has had problems overcoming minor injuries does not have the top end speed to elude in the open that information here combined with the scouting report gives me enough info now let's go to one of the top running backs 42840 Mo Donaldson lowers his head and punishes with tremendous force 
lack of durability is a concern. He lacks sudden burst out of his stance before getting into gear. Has no starting experience at halfback. He played mostly on special teams. Running a 4-2-8 in college? Lacks elusive rushing skills. He had a below, below average interview, great run power, average hands, average kick returner. Wow. This scouting is better than Madden 12, even though you could actually see ratings in that one. Like, I like this better. I like reading and seeing the combine grades instead over actual, like, ratings being spoon-fed to me. This is better than Madden 12. Give me a fullback scouting report. Good lead blocker who was aggressive getting a piece of a linebacker upfield. Bends his knees properly to get underneath the defender and pass protection. Poor outside runner with limited hip swerve and wiggle. Covers the ball well and rarely fumbles. What does a bad fullback scouting report read like? Played halfback mostly in college so he's not an experienced run blocker. Does not have the sudden acceleration when trying to get to his block point. Shows great awareness in picking up the blitz. Does a nice job securing the ball. Collision type blocker who works hard to occupy defenders in pass blocking. Run power, terrible. Run blocking, average. Pass blocking, above average. Hands, good. He will not play a down in the NFL. Ouch. Wow. I gotta explore more. We'll try 08. We'll try 09. We'll see how far they went with some of these things because uh, Mel Kuyper's scouting reports didn't make it to Madden 12. So we got some more research to do here. I, I found things today I did not think I'd find. We got some more work to do, everybody. But that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. I love coming on here and hanging out with you guys and uh, just going through these old games and figuring out what gives us a fun environment to make content. I think that... Um, I'm excited by some of these features compared even to 08 that had more depth. Like this was them trying to start a new foundation and franchise and it's like a better effort than we've seen in a long time. And this is not the golden age of Madden franchise either. There's positives here that weren't in the previous games and weren't in the later games. So I guess the, the hunt continues. But thank you all for coming today. I appreciate your time. Yesterday, as I was logging off, I said, uh, enjoy your weekend. Because I thought it was Friday. Ugh, since this whole uh, situation with the pandemic, like Tuesday through Thursday is a blur. I don't know what day it ever is. I skip some days. I miss some days. It's now Friday. And, uh... I hope you all enjoy your weekend, have some fun, and I will catch you in the next one. Got more content coming your way, and I can't wait to uh, stream again with you. That's all I got for today, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next time.